July of 2019. I just purchased this. I'm really getting into the trail cameras. I like how it captures nature uh, in general. It's just, uh, I'm not a hunter or anything like that. I just actually like to take pictures of animals and, and uh, to capture them while they think you're not there. I like, I like very much. So this is my second trail, actually my third trail camera. One of them doesn't work very well. I'm actually looking to replace that one. But the last one I purchased, um, I really like. And this one I'm gonna try out. It looks, I saw some YouTube videos on it. Um, it looks very promising. I'm probably gonna use maybe the video clip ones. I'm not sure. So I do like the pictures, but I guess I could do both. So I'll have everything here at the end. So let's open it up. This is a 32 gig memory stick. Um, that's the max that they take. I wish they took more. If I can get an outlet for this, just leave it all year round. I'm planning to leave this one in the back to capture this change of season. So I'm starting from the summer and I'll see how the winter goes and everything. And nothing else inside. The actual camera itself. So this is pretty much, oh, everything that comes with it. This is what comes with the camera, except for this. Okay, uh, a strap. Um, I usually use the camera mount. I usually screw them into the ground so they don't move. close-up a honeycomb looking area here I don't know if that's it's probably the sensor this is the camera it's the night vision I don't know what that is it's a close-up look I believe it does 1080p this is the DC and I have a DC outlet for my other one I'm hoping this will uh, nope, this doesn't look like it'll fit. Oh well. Um, I guess that's, that might be the mic underneath. Put a lock on it if you want. Wow, it's really nice looking. I like this screen. It's a lot better than just the LCD. It looked nice on YouTube, so I'm gonna turn it on, see how it looks. So that's on, set up, and off. So it's supposed to be really easy to use. And what is this? Uh, looks like eight, eight uh, AA batteries, probably, which is great, because I have rechargeable AA batteries. This is the little teeth that hook to the uh, tree, keep it from going up and down. This is the strap, so you can put the strap in easily. And uh, I guess other hang up type of options. I'll just be using this. So let me get some AA rechargeable batteries that I have and start the setup. So these are my EBL rechargeable batteries. I purchased them on Amazon. I did a video on them. They do very well so far. So let's put them in. Oh, gotta clip them in, okay. Pretty easy. It's a K 
cable here for the power. Okay, let's pull the little screen protector off and uh, turn it on and see what happens. So let's go from off to, let's do setup. On. Okay, I might have put the, hold on. It's not turning on, let me see if it needs the memory inside the push for the batteries in. They're all in. Batteries are incorrectly. Alright, let me see if it's the memory. Maybe I have to put the memory in. So let's try putting in the memory. It's an extreme. Uh, one of the accessories suggested at the B on the B&H website. All right, let me figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna swap out the rechargeable batteries to see if that's the uh, issue I'm having with real batteries. Maybe this is not taking real batteries. The batteries are really hard to get out. So, I mean, it takes some work. I had to use a, a small screwdriver to get in. I couldn't get my fingers. My fingers are too big for the batteries. All right, so let me try regular batteries. My fame, my uh, favorite brand insignia batteries. Up oh, there it goes. All right. It looks like it may not be compatible with my rechargeable AA batteries. Okay, so that's one thing. I, I don't know if that's gonna be all the rechargeable AA batteries, but I took them out, put them back in, and uh, these work on my other one with no issues whatsoever. So I know these work. All right, so. Let me set it up. Uh, how do you uh, set clock? It is, uh, I think it's 1100 hours, let me see. So it's 11.36. today okay 2019 it's August hey Google today's date it is Tuesday the 6th of August 2019 Sorry. okay and uh, how do you do the OK? Oh, just press OK here. OK. Uh, let me set the mode. Presets mode camera video hybrid. You know I'm gonna do it on hybrid. And it's okay, it's set. And then menu.
HD. What is the difference? 4K. Ooh, look at that. 4K. I don't know. 4K might be too big. High. HD. 4K. So I got high, HD, and 4K. I'm going to do um, high. I'm sorry. HD. And then full screen. Image format. Full screen. Videos wide screen. Okay, I'm gonna keep full screen. Um, so you go through the settings left and right, and if you want, and you want to change them, you go up and down, and then you click OK and you move on to the next one. We keep it. Capture number of photos. Um, you know what? Let me make it three photos. Okay, that's good. LED contrast is high, low. High, I'll leave it at high. Uh, camera name, I'll leave the default. Video size 1280 by 720, that's fine with me. So I have 1920 by 1080, 640 by 360, 1280, 720. You know what? I'll leave it at 1920 by. Hmm, but then I would have to keep changing it. I'm gonna keep it at 1280. It's good enough. Uh, video length, nine seconds, eight, seven, six, five, five seconds. Dynamic, 60 seconds of video. You know, I'm gonna leave it at 60. Interval, I think that's the difference between um, I'm going to leave that at 60 seconds also. That's one minute. I'll leave it at one minute. Sensor level, auto. What are the difference? Low, normal, high. I'll leave it at water. I'll leave the high shutter order. I'm gonna leave it at water. 24 hours, day, night, 24 hours. So I guess I could do it for day and night shots. Format, I guess that's just to format the drive. Timestamp, I don't like timestamp, so I'm leaving that off. Um, you know what? Let me leave it on. See how it looks. Field scan. I don't know what that is. Let me leave it on. Wonder if that wastes batteries. It was off naturally. I guess I'll find out what that is. Let me leave it on. Field scan. Coordinate input. I don't know what that is. I'll leave it off. Video sound on. I'll leave that. Default set. Execute. Okay. Version. That's it. Okay, we went through the whole menu settings. So let me try it out. Let me put it on nine. Screen goes out, and let's put it up, and I'll show you some test shots at the end. So I'm replacing this one. This one's pointed to the ground. And what I'll, the reason I put this one out is because I captured the raccoons, the squirrels, everything that just. Uh, walks by at night in the daytime. It's pretty cool. I now know because of this I have two stray cats They walk around this area not a uh, I don't mind the cats as they keep the mice away So that's okay. And another thing so I'm replacing this one I'm not I'm putting this the one I just purchased here because I want to capture the video now and um, I want to put this one in the back To capture the change of weather. That's what I'm gonna do. And another thing I noticed about this one is that it has also a fitting for a camera mount in the back also besides just the bottom this one doesn't have it at all and this is what i was talking about these are mounts that i could screw into different areas and uh not have to wrap them around a tree now this tree is dead so it's just a root that's sticking out of the ground and i'm using it to mount my camera to capture animals this one seems to be a lot larger than this one that's for sure yeah this is uh, my other one. I love this one too. Um, 
just mounted it and it's going to capture uh, this area right there so we have a groundhog that lives around here a raccoon that comes around we even have a skunk and I just love to, love to capture oh plus it, hundreds of deers and I just love uh, to capture the uh, images no hunter here I just like to actually see what's uh, around my home what animals lurk around my home so I'm replacing this one which is in the backyard with the one I took out from the front I have a lot of issues with this one I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with it it works sometimes it doesn't I bought the plug for it and everything and I just had a lot of issues with it all right at the end of the video I'll let you know if it's a keeper and I'll show you some uh, videos and clips and some shots that I uh, took So after, I don't know, almost a month now I've been using this camera, I put it on the ground right there. And it was pretty cool to capture a video and pictures of uh, the animals that crawl around here at night. Uh, in the daytime, I got more of the groundhog. At the end of the video, I'll show you some sample shots that I uh, took, some, some videos and uh, some sample shots. I like it. I like to capture nature that doesn't come out when I want to capture it. And uh, these cameras are like hidden cameras for them, and it's pretty cool to, to uh, capture them. Um, so I'm very happy with the camera. I don't know if you can hear, but it's raining right now. So it's definitely, definitely really good in the rain. Waterproof. Um, and no issues with the lens getting dirty or getting water on it. Um, it just works. And I'm very, very happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope the video helps. Thank you. Bye.